Mr. Speaker, when you manage an economy, you manage an economy just not just for growth, you manage an economy within sustainable framework. You must make sure that your fiscal framework is so sustainable that you can continue to generate the growth for several years to come, not for some years to come. Mr. Speaker, when you manage an economy, you must manage your monetary policy framework in such a way that you can control price development. Mr. Speaker, when you manage an economy, we must be aware that the external vulnerabilities that will hit the country must be managed so that any time there is disaster, you are ready and prepared with resilience to deal with them. Mr. Speaker, we have a group of people who manage this economy without regard to any of these. And Mr. Speaker, I would like the President to go and read his own request to the IMF for the rapid credit facility that he presented to the IMF in 2020 to be saved. Mr. Speaker, all the 5% they kept mentioning here in Parliament, the 3.9% they kept mentioning here in Parliament, when they went to IMF to collect $1 billion to come and save themselves, they now spoke the truth to the IMF. They now said that in 2018, they did a deficit of 0, uh, 7%. Does that look like 3, 5%? They said in 2019, they did 7.5% deficit. They said in 2019, their primary balance, they had borrowed in excess of 4.7% of GDP just to help pay debt. Mr. Speaker, the Article 4 review of Ghana's economy by the IMF only in 2021 indicated that by 2020, we were spending 129%, 129% of our total revenue and grants just for service debt. So we still have to now borrow to pay workers. We have to borrow to pay statutory funds. We have to borrow to pay for goods and services. We have to borrow to pay for uh, uh, infrastructure. Mr. Speaker, who manages an economy like this? Where everything... So when the president was flying with the private jet, he was borrowing. In fact, if the president was leaving the flag staff house to come to parliament, he had to borrow to pay for fuel. Mr. Speaker, if the, pres the president was to write a communication to speaker, he must borrow to buy the sheet of paper. Mr. Speaker, this is the kind of economy that you run for us. You run this economy into crisis because you did not know that in managing an economy, you must manage fiscal sustainability, which you didn't know. Mr. Speaker, we ended in 2023 when the president came to tell us through his finance minister that he owes 52 billion in interest payment to domestic lenders alone who gave him money. He will have to pay another 22 billion to foreigners who gave us the money. Mr. Speaker, cumulatively, we were paying the service of 74 billion in 2023. How is that possible?